Hello Aquarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your second half of June tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Aquarius, let's see what we have for you, second half of June 2024. So we start with you. This is your major arcana, the star. Star is the card of Aquarius in the Major Arcana. With that, crossing that, we have the King of Pentacles. Can be a person, solid, stable, secure, successful, very good in money areas, or solid in committed areas. The Sun. Beneath that we have the Four of Swords. Immediate past, we have the Queen of Swords, this could be you, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, male or female, or the energy of the card. Immediate future, we have Justice. Bottom two cards. We have the Five of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. I'm going to pull an oracle card for you. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Last half of June 2024. What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? So we have insecurity. With that, we have exertion. It's a lot of effort, the exertion energy. Let's see what we have for you with an Archangel Michael message. Message for a lovely Aquarius. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. We're looking at the last half of June. So we've got number 39. You are protected. You are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. So, Aquarius, the Queen of Swords, this can be uh, powerful communication, standing in your own truth, communicating your own truth, speaking your own truth. It can be quite a decisive energy as well. You might be dealing with the truth of a situation here. This is the energy, though, uh, coming into the present energy. I think that you're waiting for something to happen. Again, the Four of Swords, this is quite a still energy, taking a step back. Because I think that you're hopeful in a situation here that you don't have clarity of yet, but you're hoping for the clarity with the sun. The star is that sense of, of uh, hopes, dreams and wishes coming your way. But sometimes we just have to have faith in in how we're moving forward how things are going to unfold it generally it's a very spiritual energy there's always spiritual blessings with this you're being told that there's every reason to be hopeful and optimistic this is a powerful time of renewal for you um and it comes after significant challenge or change a lot of the time i feel you're kind of either deciding the way forward or speaking your truth or or, or getting clarity on a situation in terms of how you're going to deal with it here in the immediate past. And this, then there is that sense here, Aquarius, of taking a step back. You're waiting for something that you're hoping for, that you're hoping will happen. You're hoping that the sun's going to come out. The sun is that sense of good news, celebration, joy, happiness. It represents light after dark, happiness after sadness, victory over challenge. It's a very abundant energy. It's a very successful energy. If you're waiting on some kind of answer, which it looks like you are in the reading, this feels, Aquarius, that you're hoping that it's going to be very positive for you. I mean, there's every indication in this reading in the current situation that it will be. Now, it could be to do with the King of Pentacles, uh, it's the energy of money areas as well with the King of Pentacles. Um, whether this is money areas or even relationship areas. If this is to do with money areas, there's a sense here either you're waiting for financial stability or a sum of money to come your way in some way. 
For those of you, if you're dealing with a relationship, this is somebody who is asking you to have faith in them, promising that there will be light after dark, likely giving them a chance. So, I mean, however you're dealing with this Queen of Swords energy, I think that you're, this is how you, how things are going to move forward or how you're moving forward and you're just moving forward in faith, you know, um, and that's what we're seeing here because you don't have clarity in a situation, but you're hoping that that clarity is going to be good either by your decision or by something turning out well for you. So let's pull a card for justice because this can be a decisive energy. The insecurity energy could be financial. It could also something made you insecure. insecure. Remember the tower comes before the star in the major arcana, which is quite a destabilizing energy. It's the tearing down of the old. But the star comes in and there's new hope, renewal, uh, every reason to be optimistic, but we sometimes have to just have faith. So whatever this insecurity is, I think that you've been putting, something has been tiring for you, uh, this exertion energy. You're being told on that path you are protected. Let's pull a card for justice, thank you. So, justice and the <laughs> three of cups. Yeah, justice and the three of cups here, Aquarius. So, if this was to do with legal processes or contractual areas, uh, could be in business, getting a new contract, getting... Um, Again, if it was a legal or official process, government institutions, legal processes, uh, the energy of justice is the same. It's, it's generally a, a decision that is generally in your favor, but it's in the light of truth, it's fairness. It can be linked with karmic rewards for your efforts. It's a lovely energy also of balance returning back into your life, even that sense of financial balance or fairness, the balance of fairness in all things. So the Three of Cups is reasons to celebrate that sense of, and it can be quite a powerful coming together energy. So if this is a decision coming into you that you're really hoping for, to, uh, that light is shed on this and it's going to be very positive for you, the Justice card is, is a very powerful, positive omen that there will be reasons to celebrate. Now, the Six of Pentacles with the Five of Cups in money terms the Five of Cups represents something, you're, you're losing something or, or ending something or giving something up in money terms is what I'm feeling here. And we sometimes say, could I have done something different, especially if it's to do with our own business or if you're sad to leave a place of work or officially if something is completing for you, if you're dealing with some kind of loss or ending in some way, it's the same kind of energy, but all is not lost in this situation. There's still hope. With spirit working through the situation to bring you what you need. The Six of Pentacles is someone reaching out, offering you something. It's very powerful in money terms. Could be a sum of money. It, and you can see the balance in all things again, fairness. Um, powerful in terms of karmic rewards here. Uh, whether it's a sum of money, job, business opportunity, new contract, it's a very powerful positive energy that it's about moving on from what was to what will be, even though you're kind of making peace with some kind of completion or ending here and reconciling that, you know, I think that there is something being offered to you to move forward to uh, or as a result of an ending you're being offered maybe a sum of money. So this is what I'm seeing for you. I feel that this justice is, is every reason to celebrate. Now, for those of you on the romantic front, it would be an opportunity to come together with a person, maybe having gone through some difficult time. It would be, uh, again, a tower, truth, revelation, an event that happens, someone's actions. You could have been dealing with the truth of a situation here. And there could well be regret regret in terms of what happened but hoping all is not lost to make amends and rebalance things with you ultimately you decide with justice we're all accountable with justice energy for our decisions moving forward um, and i feel that deep down when justice appears we always know what the right thing to do is especially when we're making choices and decisions uh, and it might well be i mean sometimes this three of cups can also be advice from close family or friends too should you need that to make some significant choice or decision. But uh, I feel that this, this 
King of Pentacles is either involved in offering you something to do with money. In terms of healing relationships, it would be an opportunity to come together. For the majority of you, it, it feels more like some monetary process that you're going through where you're dealing with, where, where you're accepting some kind of ending or, or loss or completion here. And, and sometimes we're sad about that as well. Sometimes we have to deal with the emotional ramifications of that too. But there's something to move forward to and that's what you're being told here. So there is some kind of offer coming your way here, Aquarius. Sum of money, job, business opportunity, contract to move forward to. Or this can be a, a sum of money that completes some kind of process for you. But either way, it's, it's a very karmic reward. And that's what the sun is telling you, that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to work out very well for you. Sometimes we just have to surrender and trust. And that's what's required in your present moment. Because I think that you're stuck or you're feeling that stillness and you're waiting for things to happen. Uh, but there's every reason to be hopeful and optimistic because I definitely see a very powerful decision coming your way, which looks very favorable. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Aquarius? <laughs> it could be music to your ears. We've got music. Listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm the fairies to your door. Let's pull one more Aquarius. Magical blessings. The star is a card of blessings, and it is your card in the Major Arcana. So I feel the next, the next two weeks are going to be pretty empowering for you very karmically positive for you and so many kind of rebalancing energies happening for you uh, so positive on that respect we have magical blessings whatever you're going through you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings the fairies say you can bless others too lovely cards in this reading i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i wish you a wonderful last half of June. I will see you next time.